Brian Singer, fellow Plainsboro, New Jersey boys. How's it going, man? Yeah, yeah, I heard about your B-52's biopic you're shooting. Any open roles for, gosh, what's that guy's name? Like the guy in the B-52, the B-52's guy. Yeah, sure, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a singer, Mr. Singer, <laughs> famous love shack. Baby, you know, I has got me a Chrysler, it seats about 20, and, you know, jukebox money! I don't have to make it sound like that, but that's an icon iconic voice. I come here to the Chrysler to get some gas, and I'm going to a place going real fast! I, I can do this for days, Brian. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm from Plainsboro. Go back there, quit my acting career. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I always knew people from Jersey were jerks, but Brian, you put a, a whole new spin on it. Thanks, bye. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor, and I'm starving! You would think, you know, you walk out of a place into open space here, the door would open this way, right? Walk right out. But no, here it's like, oh, excuse me, let me get through everything. That's, that's, uh, seems a little backwards, but you know, maybe that's just the quirkiness of this place. I don't know how this place is at night. Apparently it gets like really packed, so. All right, so we're here at Fat Shack in Ackworth. We're finishing up the Ackworth tour, hopefully. I'm sure there's a lot more things to explore here. How you feeling, Jared? Good. You good? Yeah, yeah, I bet. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to make this quick so we can eat. Um, so Fat Shack, Ackworth, Georgia. Decided to go, decided. I really didn't have any choice in the matter. My buddy John, who you all have, uh, you haven't seen, but he's my buddy in Tampa. He wanted me to get the Fat Hangover, which is pretty much a breakfast uh, hoagie. It's got eggs, bacon, uh, I think ketchup, all the, all the breakfast stuff, I should know this. Um, Take a look at it, tell me what's going Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Thank you, sorry, it's been a very long day. Uh, and we're gonna do a bonus review for fried Oreos. So, this is great. You know, I wasn't too hungry because of the movie popcorn, but now I'm getting a feeling for this. Wow, this is really rolled up. Mmm, okay. I can smell that bacon. Smell that eggs. Wow, they really rolled this thing up. This is, oh damn, there's there's some heat coming for this, and I and I mean like spicy heat. Look at that. Let's see the cheese, egg, got a uh, sausage in that, and French fries. Look at those French fries. True Jersey style. Also, this bread. If I, I guess it's like French bread. There's a place in Plainsboro where I'm from, and we're also Brian Singer's from. We're both from the same town in Jersey. There's a place called Steak and Hoagies. I definitely want to go to Jersey. I'm going to review that place. But they have bread just like this, and it's so good. So, all right. First bite's the one that counts when you're starving, so. I got a really big bite of sausage in that, and that sausage was incredible. Um, not too heavy. Mm. Onion rings. Just found out it's got onion rings in it. Wow, that is good. What a sandwich. Look. Gas, huh? Oh man, it's such gas. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, look at that. He apparently comes here. He said, that shit's gas. What two words to put together? Especially gas right after, you know. <laughs> oh no. Am I gonna die? <laughs> wow, that, that's really good. Let's see. So there's a there's a place uh, in New Brunswick, New Brunswick, New Jersey, right at Rutgers University, called the called the the grease trucks. Just a bunch of food trucks there, 
where they have sandwiches like this. It's called just the fat sandwiches. And I went there a couple times, I think, and the, the sandwiches that always had the fries just were always so dry, like you, you just, as you try to swallow it, it's just like it's hard to swallow. This was not dry. This was not dry. So, the fat hangover, that fat shack here in Ackworth, 8-2. I'm gonna go with 8-2. That was pretty good. Nothing, nothing crazy, not like spicy or anything. There was ketchup in there. Good amount. It wasn't overloaded. Day two. That sounds great. Thanks for the recommendation, John. And guys, we'll be seeing you on the next review. Oh, shh. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> I spoke too soon. So, okay. So we're supposed to do the fried Oreos. Wow. See, this is, can this day be over already, Jared? I can't believe I want to do this full time. Okay, so we got deep fried Oreos. Look at that. So it's literally just got an Oreo in it, deep fried with powdered sugar on it. So it smells really good. It smells like the Jersey Shore. Oh man, Seaside Heights, baby. Mmm. Oh. Oh. That's phenomenal. Wow, that is good. Because not only are you getting that cream on the inside, but because of because of the you know the heat from this thing, that powdered sugar just melts. And it's like a glaze. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Okay. Okay, fat shark. All right, this makes up for the door. That's why they make. That's why they put the fried Oreos on the list on the menu, because they knew about the door. They knew it was going to confuse people, so they put it on there to make people want to come back and to use that same door again. So, fat check, fried Oreos, nine five, nine five. I think that's the, the highest score I've given so far on, on uh, Starving Active Food Reviews. Nine five, Jared, you're going to eat one of those. And I'm taking one of them home. That was good. That's a review. See you next time.